To me, one of the biggest moments in hip hop history involves two well esteemed entertainers, rappers, lyrical geniuses. Let's put them a full mass. J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Per NBC News, J. Cole, who has been in a beef with Kendrick Lamar, which is hella ironic because both of them stand for responsible and positive lyrics. Understanding the reality of diversity, the need for a nuanced conversation. Brilliant people, both of them. So it was a shocker that they were involved in the beef. So J. Cole did something that should be the norm. It really should be the norm. And I'm proud of this young man. J. Cole said there's one part of his new album that he is not proud of. A track in which he disses rapper Kendrick Lamar. The artist who dropped his album might delete later on Friday released a track titled Seven Minute Drill. Which features a verse that takes aim at Kendrick Lamar. Quote, he says, I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. Cole said Sunday at his music festival, Dreamville Fest. It's one part of that ish that makes me feel like, man, that's the lamest ish I ever did in my effing life, end quote. And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. So let me, let me give you the scene. J. Cole is rocking the place, right? He stops, he does this intimate, Real direct sit down conversation where he just puts it all out. No measure. He's not trying to sound prolific. He's not trying to sound gangster. He's trying to be authentic. And that is it. Lamar, the first rapper to win a Pulitzer Prize in 2018, by the way, had taken shots at Cole and Drake. In a guest verse on the song Like That by rapper Future and producer Metro Boomin. In the song, Kendrick Lamar responds to a line in Cole and Drake's song, First Person Shooter, in which Cole had deemed himself, Drake and Lamar, as the big three of rap music. The only issue I have with that is Drake, to be honest with you. After the release of Like That on March 22nd, Lamar's verse blew up online, prompting speculation around whether or not Cole or Drake would respond. Many fans believe Lamar's verse was too scathing for Cole and Drake not to respond. Cole on Sunday told the crowd that he tried to jab Kendrick Lamar back in a friendly way, but that it didn't sit right. He said he hopes that Lamar didn't feel no way, but that he would take another diss on the chin if Lamar was offended. So he's saying, listen, what I did, I'm not proud of. I'm creating this this tension that I really don't stand for. And if he decides to diss me back, then I would take it on the chin. Simply meaning I will not launch a defense. I will not respond to it. Footage from Cole's on stage comments circulated on X, where many have spent days discussing his diss track. And the song Cole says Lamar's second album to Pimp a Butterfly, which one best rap album at the 2016 Grammys put people to sleep. Some rap fans online felt that Cole's diss was weak because uh, TPAB, TPAP, has been critically and commercially acclaimed. Cole told the Dreamville Fest, uh, Fest crowd that he felt pressured to hit back at Lamar. This is how it happens. Quote, I felt conflicted because I'm like, bruh, I know I don't really feel no way, but The world wants to see blood, Cole said to the crowd. He also expressed remorse for downplaying Lamar's discography and his diss. Then he says something to the crowd, which was really powerful. He says to the crowd, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest MF 
MFers to ever touch an effing microphone, the crowd goes wild because they love them both. This is a J. Cole crowd cheering for Kendrick Lamar. Why? Because they love them both. And they would like them to love each other too. Cole said, garnering applause from the audience, he also said he felt blessed to stand beside Drake and Lamar's peers. Drake has not directly responded to the diss. He appeared to reference it at a recent concert in Florida. Representatives for Cole, Lamar, and Drake have not immediately responded to requests for comment. Let's, let's just take a step back. Because what J. Cole has done is he has stopped what we've seen before in the industry of hip hop, a manufactured beef. And when you manufacture beef, you got male egos involved, you got some toxic masculinity involved. It happens, bravado is there. You got the public involved. You got people gassing you up, telling you what you need to do next. Now, everybody's in your business. And he said, listen, I don't even have an issue with Kendrick Lamar. You all think I do, but I never did. And the only reason I made that response is because people told me I needed to. And I fed into it. That's not a small moment. There are some people who are uh, dissing him for apologizing. Dear brother, you have created one of the biggest moments in hip hop history by what you've done. Because what you simply did, based on your own words, is followed your higher self. All right, sharing thoughts here. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love them both too. Yep. And you're right, um, J. Cole is standing like you know 10 feet tall, maybe, yep. maybe taller than that. If only two other famous rappers who are no longer with us would have been able to do that. Because you're right, fake beef turns into real beef. And then next thing yep. you know, someone's dead in LA, somebody's dead and shot, shot dead outside of Vegas hotel. Um, I love this. He just took a pen and popped beef, just like that. He really did. And just could care, this is what we're doing. And the people yeah. can love that too. Teach them to love something else. That's right. Um, allow the naysayers to fall off of your present trajectory, all right? Mm -hmm. Those that support you give you gas for the journey. 